I uh, went and got my nails done. I meant to bring you guys and vlog it and talk to you about it and I didn't, so got my nails done. That's the update. Also, on a completely separate note, I'm very excited for a package that I just got. You know when you're like scrolling through Amazon looking for something specific, but then you see something else that you actually need? That's what happened. Um, I didn't intentionally search for this. It found me. It is what it is. For a visual aid, here's what we have going on near the kitchen sink. Um, I just feel like it could be cuter, you know? This was really a very unnecessary purchase. Or was it necessary? We'll soon find out. I got matching bottles for our dish soap and our hand soap. But it is plastic, so if it topples over, which tends to happen, I don't know why for me. I tend to knock these over all the time. It's not glass and it won't break. It came with these super cute little tags, one that says dish soap and one that says hand soap. I'm gonna fill these up right now and switch these out. And I feel like the before and after is gonna be fire. Welcome to the thought process. This is how my head is all the time. I feel like an adult woman who has her shit together. Look at this. This is art. This is beautiful. I'm very happy with this purchase. It was so cheap. I'm gonna link it below. This is not an ad. I'm that happy with this purchase. Mama Lita is leaving us and they can tell. They're aware. They know exactly what's going on. They know so much. And you're in trouble. I know you. <laughs> What is up guys? Just dropped Alicia off at Remy's house. She is going to Life is Beautiful in Vegas. <laughs> I dropped her off with all her bags. She looked so cute and I was like, make wise choices. I am headed home and I just kind of thought, you know, like I haven't talked to you guys in the car in a minute. Car talks with Ashley was a thing back in the day and you know, I am just now hitting a ton of traffic and I knew I would because I saw it going the other way. It's been a minute. What do we talk about? I feel like a lot of my friends are getting into relationships right now. I'm gonna just say that. This is a random topic, but I'm gonna do it. I think that COVID put a lot of us into a spot where it kind of like changed our perspective on life. You guys already know this. I'm a very happy single person. Do I wanna have, you know, a beautiful relationship? Sure. Do I wanna get married one day and have kids? Sure. It's just never been my number one priority. I've always just prioritized me, my family, my friends, and like I've always just assumed like that's gonna happen in the future. COVID definitely made me feel like, oh, Ashley, you should prioritize dating again. <laughs> we prioritized work for a long time and it's time to prioritize dating again. And I think that me and all my friends had the same, the same thought process at the same time because everyone is starting to find their, you know, person and it's all happening at once. I have been meeting so many friends, so many friends is guys. Am I saying that correctly? I feel like there's a much easier way to say that. I've been meeting all of these people. I'm meeting someone tonight. A good friend of mine has been seeing this guy for a while. That's fun. That's exciting. That's a tangent. Guys, I met for the first time ever the person who edits these videos. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of backstory. I've been wanting to find an editor for a really long time. It helps me to have someone edit the videos because it allows me to film more and therefore get more videos to you guys, if that makes sense. I don't know if you've noticed, 
but I am finally on a weekly upload schedule, which is just insane. And that's all because of Mandy, who has been editing these videos for this entire year, but she lived far away and I was never able to meet her. She finally moved to LA and I met her this week. We had dinner together and it was fantastic. And that's all I wanted to say. We all need to just give it a nice little shout out to Mandy. I'm gonna say something. I might offend people, but I don't, I don't think you guys will be offended by this. I don't understand how people can drive motorcycles on freeways. Drivers are idiots, and I, that's including me. I'm not talking shit. Like, drivers are idiots, especially LA drivers. So I would be so scared driving a motorcycle, any kind of bike, on the freeway, especially out here. One just passed me, so that's why I thought of it. I don't, I don't think I could do that. So yeah, basically Alicia is going to be gone all weekend, which is exciting because that means Taryn and I have the whole house to ourselves this weekend, which <laughs> essentially means the house is gonna stay clean all weekend. <laughs> I love both my sister and Taryn so much, but I do love when one of them leaves because it's like, oh, the house feels like empty and I can blare my music and watch whatever I want and, you know, dance in the kitchen naked if I want to. I'm just kidding. This was fun, let's do it again sometime. Hey Taryn, what do we like to do when Alicia's gone? We like to have a clean house and watch Netflix. Without feeling guilty for not working, yeah! splurged today. Normally I only let myself have black coffee, but I was feeling some type of way this morning and I got a cold brew with salted caramel foam on top. It is the only drink I drink now from Starbucks and it's so freaking good. It makes me happy. And sometimes you gotta do those things, you know? I really wish I was a pumpkin spice stan like everyone else. I've tried. I love pumpkin spice pastries. I can't with the drink. I don't like it at all. I want to like it, but I just don't. There's a few things I gotta do. I need some gas. I desperately need a car wash. And it's my friend's birthday. Well, it was, and we're having a birthday dinner for her tonight, so I'm gonna go pick up a cake. Let's run some errands. such a mom right now. I don't know how to fix it. So like I said, it's my friend's birthday dinner tonight and I feel like it's just not okay to go to these things without someone bringing a cake or a cupcake or some kind of situation. So I'm taking it upon myself to go pick up a carrot cake from Porto's. I don't know where you guys live, if you know what Porto's is or if you don't, but it is a really delicious bakery and I've only had one thing from there before. It was really good. They do like sandwiches, salads, and stuff like that, but apparently they make cakes, and my friend Haley loves carrot cake, so I'm picking up a carrot cake for her, and we're gonna celebrate her tonight with the carrot cake. I feel like it's just rude to show up to a birthday dinner that she planned for herself and not have a birthday cake. You gotta blow out candles. That's how birthdays work. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. A very stressful intersection. Pick up for Ashley. Whew. It was busy in there, but this is gonna be worth it. I am so hungry. I need food. So I'm done with my work day and I have the dinner, the birthday dinner tonight. So I feel like I should probably get ready. 
definitely don't feel like it. The problem is, I know that all the girls going are gonna look really good. And I gotta do my part, you know what I mean? What's that? Hey, vlog. <laughs> Can I ask you guys a question? Specifically to all of the people my age that are watching this. Have your pores gotten larger? Is that a thing that comes with age? Mine have gotten larger. I don't like it. I feel like I have craters sitting on my face. Primarily they're here and then up here. If that is you and this resonates with you, is there something you do? Is there anything that can be done? I doubt it. I feel like in my head, there's nothing that can be done for this, but then at the same time, I'm like, it's 2021. There's gotta be something that can be done to minimize the giant holes in my face. I haven't found anything. And you know what? When I talked to you guys about the like red bumps on the back of my arm, you guys came through with some solid answers. So I thought, you know, let me just shoot my shot here and maybe you guys would have some answers for me for the giant pores on my face because I would love to get rid of them. And honestly, that's the end of the story. Sometimes I think I'm just getting worse and worse with makeup. Like I used to try new things and now I just do the same old thing. You know what? We're just gonna blend out a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It is wild how big of a difference blending makes. Did I say that weird? It is wild what a big difference blending makes. I graduated high school. Everything in me wants to try to do a winged eyeliner right now, but I know that's not gonna go over well. So I'm trying to fight back the urge to do so. Alicia has currently been doing a lot of like eyeshadow eyeliner and it looks really good on her, but she's exceptionally better at makeup than I am. The thing is like if I start, then I'm gonna have to commit to it and if it looks bad, then I'm gonna show up tonight with it looking bad because I'm not about to redo anything I just did. Don't do it. Don't. I don't like it. Oh no. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I for sure done worse. Problem is I just keep, yeah, yeah. That looks good. I think that looks, that looks decent. The hard part is that now I have to do the same thing on the other side. Uh-oh. So they're not even. There's really nothing I can do now to fix that. We're definitely stuck with this. I don't regret it because I think, I think I needed this. I'm proud of myself for going with it. Maybe mascara will make it better. I feel like it looks better without all the mascara now. So I know that all of the girls that I am about to go to dinner with are gonna show up looking hot. So we're gonna do a little, what do I wear tonight? Oh, no. I don't know why I'm feeling a dress. Maybe I should change it up because none of these I'm liking. What? I'm not liking any of these. Having a day today. Okay guys, here's the finished look. I love that I tried on like six dresses and ended up doing jeans and a t-shirt. Like I always do, but it's fine. Here's the full, here's the full look. Um, don't mind <laughs> my shoes in the corner. We have a top, my favorite go-to jeans, and then my Aloha sandals that you guys helped me choose for an outfit in a vlog not that long ago. Is this the right top? to wear to dinner? Probably not. I feel like this is gonna be a problem, but I feel like it looks good right now, so I'll probably regret this later. Look at all my <laughs> 
Sexy friends. Moment, bitch. Moment. Yes, moment. Moment.